All right, hey everyone, welcome back. So, as I said last time, we're going to be taking on the Poseidon now, because that's really everything. Last thing for us to do, because we have done everything else except for kind of the cruise ball, which you can't really do. And what? No, never mind. <laughs> Someone probably knows I'm. Copy probably knows I missed that earlier. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, we can head back over to Bikini Bottom. And I've made my point that we have done everything, all that stuff to, that we can access is the Poseidon, which you must access from here. So then, let us go to places that we do not know about. I don't know. Hooray! Now I have 12 more than I need. Let's go. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. I have granular muscles. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Can you do it yourself or God? I'm a sponge. Oh, there's something odd that I want to show here, including that talking fish head. I think that's like his official name. He refers himself as a talking fish at one point, doesn't he? So yeah, this is what the bosses are going to be. Robots of SpongeBob's friends. Good luck with that. Alright, so being the first boss, I love the images here. <laughs> uh, it's, this is incredibly simple. Just avoid shockwaves, stare an issue. Wait for it to make an opening, I'll show the little prompt, and there you go, I'll get hit. So, bosses uh, always have, take 9 hits, as opposed to many bosses 3 hits. This will get much harder as it goes on, but it's still going to be laughable. Also, I haven't shown it, but I believe you get knocked into the air automatically to avoid the shockwave when it does that jump attack. So, as you can see, there's the fish head sprite over there. As I said, I'm gonna show a sign later about that. Yeah, you can just jump. You can also land on it if you want. Process. Hello. I believe this. Yeah, the Poseidon appeared in. I don't remember the name of the episode, but it was the Ultimate Fry Coat Showdown. If anyone remembers that. Oh god. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I knew that was gonna happen. Anyways. So yes, this has now fallen down. You may want to make note of that. But before doing so, I want to show you what I've been talking about the start of time. I'm pretty few to actually be able to show you. Wait, how did it turn around? Right. So same thing as before, except it doesn't get knocked into the like. Uh, I don't believe I have. Yeah. I can, for a reason, I can attempt to throw it at him. Um, if you take too long, the head will actually automatically float back to the robot as it's going to here, which I don't understand. And that's just something I wanted to show, because I don't know why the hell that would actually be like that. Of course, you have Poseidon right there just cheering someone on. Not sure who. It doesn't look at all too amused. So yeah, pretty repetitive gameplay. It switches up. That switches up often enough, though. Oh, Notice that boom nice button. We'll make use of that later. Float. So that's all. That's all to do. You can just run away, and then when it jumps, it'll come to you. So yeah. Then jump to avoid this. Does that go through its attacks like it would also any video game boss? Let Patrick go through his idle animations and oh dear. And then just attack when it leaves itself open. As a pretty standard video game boss procedure. Don't try to throw that too wow, much of an angle because it can bounce off, I believe. Match. Lots of sparks. So. Oh, turn, oh. Yeah. 
In two of the three bosses, something will happen. Uh, I'll just take down each third of its health. And this, uh, actually, in two of them, it will result in. In those two, it will result in switching characters. Oh god. <laughs> I was going to avoid that. I'm gonna get slapped. Alright, so now for that one, you have to make adjustments to uh, just a single jump. This time, I think it's gonna outsmart you, but of course, it does sign that it will really only leave itself open to SpongeBob oh, Sir Patrick. So it will now catch its head, and then, like, purposely tease you and leave itself open. Single jump. SpongeBob, this match is just about over. How would it know? Yeah, that's where I'm calling the fish head a it and it. I don't know. Well, I do know. Can I shut up already? Let's get back to the fight and win. I never actually noticed the design on the bottom. The Poseidon. Simple. Whoa, simple enough. Boom. Alright, three specials. Not really. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a also induce more property damage. Bubble bowl. But wait, and that's the ball ball. And that's not all. A gift certificate for five dollars and thirty-two cents to Dean's little shop of dried fish flakes and flowers. Oh, dried fish thank flakes. You. It all means so much. I, I, I don't know why things glow in the cutscenes either. I promised myself I wouldn't Patrick's cry. eyes are luminescent. Just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton! Hello! Yes, what is oh it? God, those shadows. I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Concerned that we can now see it. Have they? I really haven't noticed. You know, and I'm thinking about it since so I don't see it. I think I'm. I'm not sure if I'm going to include the movie theater in this, considering it's a 100% run. I mean, it is concept art, and it's something you can do, but the shiny object grinding required would be... Uh, it'd just be all off-screen, I guess. That's all it would be. It'd be like a little extra after I beat the game or something. Or maybe I'd do it before I, the uh, final battle. I don't know. Definitely do the grinding off-screen, though. You need a crap ton of shiny objects, and you'll see that when I get to that area of the game. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters! Well, yeah, they took over the place, remember? And, oh god, the camera's on the ground. Can you see through things? They're ghastly. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No. No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right Just now, you're thinking around. too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. No. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think like for you. Gator, bro. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Features. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Yep. Well, with that. Uh, notice that Bubble Buddy and... Um, the scraps have no move. Patrick's the only one who actually stays in place as you do things, and also, you can now bowl bowl through this area. Bubble bowl. You can now roll through this area. As for the uh, bowl bowl sock in uh, Jackfish Fields, I'll just get that in my final like checkup before I click on the final boss. So, with that, first of all, we can now talk to Bubble Buddy. Press this button, and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Let's just take some more time in Bikini Bottom uh, until before we go out on the field again. Wow! Wow, indeed. It's Remember, useful. though, the I like bubble it. bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Both of your acquired attacks are actually ranged, which I very much like. Got it. As I've said before, with me like habitually trying to use the attack, I use it rather often. Looking around, about to explain something that I'll explain in a minute. As you now see the gold underwear, and there's also a spatula up there. Each area has a on top of random building 
spatula along with the golden underwear. You now have five pairs of underwear. Small platforming. Did I just, like, immediately turn around when I... I don't know. So, this is another spatula. You can see Sam Nanda behind me. One well, of my favorite areas in the game. I'm not sure how fun it will be to watch, actually. It's fun to play, but... Anyways. So, each area also has... The game also has a first free area that you'll need any spatulas to go into. Just like jellyfish fields. Uh, before that, I'm, it also has an area that you can actually go into and get a spatula, which I never really realized. Uh, that would be Squidward's house, Sandy's tree dome, and well, you'll see later for the third area. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking! <laughs> I love that. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob! I got a treehouse chock full of robots, and it's all your fault! Didn't SpongeBob so meet Sandy a second episode? I think it was. That was the second episode, something I had to do with boating school, I don't remember. Oh god, touch me. Stop trying to touch me. So just absolute robot mania. Then I'm grenade esque things. And as many enemies as there are, you can't really get overloaded by it or anything. And that's really just running through pressing X at various times. And I guess you need. I guess it's timed so you don't have to simulate like water leaking in or you running out of water. Well, of course, that time is abolished later, and the leak doesn't stop, and you don't stop being like that. As beautiful as that is. Hooray! Shit. I wish you could go inside her tree house. Anyways, Alrighty, then. back to our reward. Much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. What? Why does everyone have these? It's like kryptonite. Everyone buys it. Or everyone has it. Except the protagonist. Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping. Yeah, that's what she says for the rest of the game. Sad little existence. So, oh god, this guy. How's that? Any I'm not sure what about the Xbox does that. I mean, lots of other glitches can be explained by Xbox not being able to be a 360 not being able to hell transparency, but God. Oh. Lots of little socks. Some of the socks in the key bomb are actually kind of hard to get. Hard to figure out the how to get. Like this one. If you get the statue, you can do that. So. The free area in this area of the world, the wow, bottom. Is here. Boy, my heroes. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. How's that possible? Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Looks angry. Is that the TV repairman? That's what you think. No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh. Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your honor. television. Good day. Hey, sponge kid. You really want to help out? That's what I've been doing. Oh boy, would I? Okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. What? Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Yep, that's where we're going. Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? You wish. Alright, so I don't remember how you get it, there's a sock you can get in here. Checkers, the king of sports. Ow. I never really understood completely what I said there. Did you say hand contact? I thought I saw it was like non-contact. Whereas I believe it's if you destroy everything in here. This is 
the oh, bikini there's also a TV for Syria. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor of Plankton has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming. Retirement home girls gone wild. Well, Merman is watching some nice programming. I do know that there's a sock I'm getting here, though. Combo. Oh. Last but not least, turn the water fountain on. Or not. I really don't remember how you get it. With the TV. There you go. I think it's if you actually destroy everything. Not sure it's hitting the TV or doing everything. But anyways. When you say in your idle chatter. <laughs> the TV repair he, he speaks again. for you. Maybe he can rub my feet. I did that earlier. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going fast. So. Discreet. Well, uh, so I guess I'm going to be spending the rest of this recording session really here. It's actually a pretty big place. Uh, the areas in the game all get a lot bigger from here on out. But the mermaid layer, I definitely have to say, is one of the bigger ones. At least it always feels like that. Well, that's what I remember it being. Maybe it really isn't. I don't know. You too! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You just noticed. Ah, ah to you too. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Well. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Lots of things. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. There you go. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. Hey, I have a heroic name. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots evil. have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop that. Why do you have this place? You can't run maintenance. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. You got enough excuse. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. Oh, he'll be shamed. Later on. To the I probably remember that line, but he will be. Away. And of course, I stay here forever. Go see the. Hit this. That's computer later on. I believe you can hit. They'll give you a sock, or maybe it's a hit all of them. I don't know. I probably hear the sound that makes. I always thought they made a louder sound. Disco floor. Yep, they have disco floors all throughout their lair. And of course, right away, I'll be using the uh, ball of wall a decent bit. You also get taught the uh, points of power management. The longer you hold the B button, the harder you throw it. I'm not sure if Ball Bite actually said that. Actually, I just got a... Oh, that's a purple shiny object. I thought that was a sock. Anyways. More hazards that you'll see all across this place. Oh, on Pied, you can see a... Oh, God. New enemy! Nice music. Arfs and whatever he's called. You don't see him very often. You really don't, actually. Oh god, what ha what's happening? What happened to him? 
I thought his little small things are called arfs. Uh, it's possible to actually kill him with... It's possible to kill him with melee attacks, but it's difficult. It shines. We'll have to do this. It's not easy to kill the cruise bubble. And you can kill him with melee, easily, but... Hard to not take any damage from his little... Minions. Ow! I didn't know he had melee. Well, that was an Andre good terrain for attacking him, though. No, this is like... No, it's not the first, but it's one of the few... I'll actually use that number. This is one of the uh, few bungee hooks in the game that you don't need to pay anything for. What? It's kind of a pain spinning these things around. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually said it. I made it rather obvious. But those little spinner things are very are objects that you can bowl into and will do various things. Wait, I don't actually get expansion from that one, this thing. Usually, they don't always rotate, not usually rotate platforms. They'll oftentimes do things like making things go upwards, though. Something like here, invisible boatmobile. Not sure I would be there, but... Read this first. Best, like, small little confined buttons that doesn't look like you'd be able to hit while standing up, because you apparently can crawl, can be hit oftentimes with the bubble bowl. Ow! So that hit me. Okay, I seriously thought you got like a sock from destroying these. No matter. Nine through the... Yeah. Alright, into the third and final part of this recording session.